I think that we're going to go out of line, if it's okay, with everyone and move on to the um, our discussion on old business. Mrs. Walsley brought up about uh, wanting to know some more information. And I noticed that in our audience tonight, we have, uh, do we have a speaker for the grist mill out there? Andy. No, I think Mr. Hurley and Jim. Jim has uh, volunteered a lot of uh, his expertise, and uh, we're very lucky to have two men like this. And yeah. may, may I make a, a quick observation yes. while the gentleman is sitting down? One thing that Candy mentioned to me that hadn't occurred to me, <clears throat> but she said that I guess the feeling is that there may be a hesitation on the part of some contractors when it comes to the process of rebuilding a dam because this for a contractor is a relatively small dam just like sometimes we have problems getting people to bid yeah. on the high street drainage right because it's a quote small project not to us but the contractor right have we have we um, considered that we have we've looked at some of the dam projects going on both in New Hampshire and Massachusetts principally in Massachusetts the AM project they're they're uh, very small projects and there doesn't seem to be a lack of bidders for them Oh, okay. so uh, un until we see something to the contrary we're going to continue to proceed okay. to try to get this done I think a lot of people recognize that norm here is uh, been doing a lot of he's been sort of yeah. being the leader here People may not recognize uh, Jim Metcalf as well, and I'm hoping that Jim will give us a little bit. Uh, let us know about your expertise, what you have to offer here. Uh, sure. Been I'm, so generous with your uh, commitment. Uh, I'm a uh, I'm a retired engineer. Uh, I spent uh, more than 40 years working on uh, power stations. Uh, I'm not a civil engineer, but I'm a mechanical mechanical engineer. I'm licensed in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, where I where I practiced. Uh, so uh, I may not know a lot about the structures or the hydrology, but I, I know a lot about moving water, and, and that's the that's the expertise that I volunteered and, and uh, what, what I bring to the table. Thank you very much. Would you like to s start, Mr. Welch? Or well, Mr. Chairman, um, we've finished with the uh, the dam at uh, Ice Pond, and that was. A number of reasons we held up doing this project is simply because we wanted to see how good the engineering data was, and it wasn't very good. Yeah. Uh, neither were the estimates for the work. Um, we then sort of sat down and had independent review. We talked to some folks on the uh, information that was obtained uh, for the original turnaround for decommissioning the dam, and uh, there was a healthy concern on the part of our engineers um, in-house with the fact that there's a lot of data that isn't there uh, and needs to be there in order to do this and do this as most efficiently and effectively as we can. Uh, we made the decision uh, about a month and a half ago, two months ago, uh, affirmatively that we were going to go out and select new engineers or request yes. engineering proposals. Um, we're concerned that the data is not present and because of that an effort to try to use the data from the original data bank would be fraught with problems and in fact we wouldn't get a good bid uh, and if we did get a bid it wouldn't be a good work project. Uh, we want this to be the best work project there is but we also want it to be the cheapest work product that we can get <laughs> for the best work we can get. So. Uh, I believe Public Works at this moment is ready either tomorrow or Monday to send out the proposal for the engineers. We have a list of uh, a two page list of engineers who are from the state uh, who would be willing to bid on this type of project or not bid but send a proposal for engineering work. We want to have that done sometime in the first two weeks of January. We want to proceed immediately so we can start getting this thing going. Spend this money, get this done. And uh, as soon as we can during the cal calendar year 2016, get the work started. That, in a nutshell, is the synopsis. So, uh, where do we go from here? Uh, I think, the, well, the obvious is we're going to send out an RFQ uh, within the week uh, to select an engineering firm. Uh, and we'll have several meetings regarding that when we open those. 
these gentlemen will be invited so they can sit down and listen to what's going on and give us their opinion as well because they're literally part of the team. Um, and then we need to go and redo everything that was done for the decommissioning because we're reversing the process and it's not just a straight reversal. Uh, there's a lot of information that needs to be obtained. It needs to be obtained very quickly and very effectively. And uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to have our two engineers in house watching this uh, very closely. I uh, certainly, the engineering firm we select is going to be, uh, feel as if they're under a microscope getting this work done because it needs to be that way. We need to aggressively work at this. Yeah. We need to aggressively be next to them working at it. And we need to very aggressively state things that need to be done and take a yes for an answer every time, unless there's some, something we're not aware of. Did you gentlemen want to ask any questions or contribute? Uh, no, other than we, we have been in touch slightly with uh, Fred and um, Chris. Chris Jacobs. Yep. Um, they had informed us that they were going to go back to right. sending out a uh, RFQ more broad spread, uh, widespread so that so they could get uh, a better grip on this. Uh, we were aware of that. I think we're on board with that. Uh, I don't see uh, you know issue. Didn't know the time frames. We were, you know, it's nice to hear that the time frames are uh, moving on. Right. We knew there were some issues with the ice pond, and there were other things that had to be done uh, during the summer months, such as uh, the uh, road from. Uh, one on one, oh, oh yeah, right. So we're kind of on board with what's going on. We just, you know, uh, we heard that there were maybe some questions, so we were happy to be show up and be here there and wish are. everybody a Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, Mr. Waddell. Uh, I'm fine. Mr. Bridal. No, I'm fine. I'm glad, but Fred's uh, brought us up to speed on it, and uh, look forward to getting it done. Yeah. Mrs. Wolseley. Yeah, I, I hate to see Warren articles passed and then sit there. And uh, I am, especially after the ice pond experience, I really want to have a firm figure. I don't want somebody to come in and say, we'll do it, and then eat. Right. Yeah. So uh, uh, I think we're on the right track. I hope so. Uh, obviously, as, as we were going through this process with ice pond, yeah. there were a lot of delays. Uh, we were concerned uh, with that process. Um, it turned out that their bids were very low, mm -hmm. uh, but the bid prices coming in were very high. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want to go through that process again, so we, yeah. we want to know exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it, and we want to get in there and get the job done. Mr. B. Get her done. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And Merry Christmas to you gentlemen as well. Thank you. We appreciate you that you came in tonight, and I guess this is your cheer. Uh, Cheering gallery back there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. She's Christmas. a lady who knows how to pick up the phone. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh,